Welcome back to Wolf Spell Actual Play. We've all just become wolves, thanks to uh, Smoke's magic. And we thanks Smoke. And uh, we've uh, a gunshot was fired, and we bolted in different directions, or at least Greybeard bolted in one direction, yeah. and all the <laughs> other wolves bolted in another. I uh, like how you, the kind of leader, went in one direction, and the rest of us are like, nah, nah. <laughs> Yeah, that way. Uh, so, uh, you know, actually not sure. Let's, let's go with the group. We'll come back to Greybeard in a moment. Um, the, uh, there was, yeah, a gunshot. Uh, you, you all took off. Uh, I'm going to say that both of these directions are slightly orthogonal to the mountain. Um, yeah. And uh, the place that you ran into was maybe deeper into uh, the woods. Like you were sort of on the edge of a woods and uh, now you've gotten into the spots where there's less snow on the ground and it's more just uh, pine needle covering and, you know, like where, where the, the snow is still trapped in the canopy of trees. Um, and it's much darker here uh and um the but it, again because you're wolves you've got other senses that step up that uh decide to to help you out in um uh like you can smell uh the presence of of prey like a rabbit uh not too far away or um and you can hear the wind in the trees that let you know where the trees are even in the distance um and you can hear also uh further off in the distance the commotion that's been set off by the sound of wolves and gunfire uh near the from where you you uh, last were the people of the town. Uh, a quick question about this thing you, you're on. You're not, you've all decided to do this by yourselves, right? You're not like in any official capacity sent out by the town or am I misinterpreting that? That was my I, impression. Yeah, I yeah. certainly have no official endorsement for the shit I'm pulling. <laughs> Although I could imagine the town having a search party planned, like right, there's multiple people missing. Yeah, a few of them have returned with stories of the the ones left behind. Yeah, and so yeah, I mean, I don't think we were part of that official search party, but I think right, I think I think Greybeard has been disgraced for his failure. <laughs> yeah, have you been sort of scapegoated? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I mean, I, he's he's very much unwelcome. I think at this point, and in fact, maybe maybe very afraid, even as a human, of going back into town for what happened. Um, I I can totally imagine um, Shell's character kind of like calling us all together, and we're like, "What?" And you're like, "You know that they can't make it up there as right. humans, but you know who can." <laughs> <laughs> People who smell. Hear me out. out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have I ever got a proposal? <laughs> and we were like that kind of makes sense actually yeah no wolves would be better like they could survive okay yeah sure yeah sure. yeah sounds good we all have our reasons <laughs> yeah. uh yeah um the uh but i think like eventually you stop running right uh yeah. you, mm -hmm. and uh regroup a little bit so well, i guess what i'm asking is what the priority is what do you do when you stop running So my instinct, uh, uh, now that I'm more wolfy than I expected to be, would be to get this over with pretty quickly uh, mm -hmm. because I feel like I have a bigger problem now. <laughs> um, and I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not really settling into this wolf stuff yet. I have no feral and I don't, <laughs> I don't like what's happening around here. Um, so I'm going to, to, to probably like stop and regroup and realize we've lost a gray beard already. Um, and 
uh, try and focus on where we're going. But uh, what about shadow and and, uh, and yearn? Like, what are your priorities? Uh, find the cave with the with the people. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do a nose dive in the snow because I've always wanted to try that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then, should... yeah, and then brush myself <laughs> off and be like, okay, yeah. So I just had, I had to do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I, I feel like it might be time to behold the world again and try and get our bearings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Maybe, uh, maybe find Greybeard. Th- yeah. That nose diving into the snow might be beholding the world. You know, you might see yeah. things. Definitely. You yeah. never know. Yes. Do you want to, you want to give it a roll? Sure. Just rolling. I'm not doing. Hmm. So one wolf. Mm-hmm. Uh, unless I don't think your your uh, blood bonus comes into account, unless you can convince me otherwise. Yeah, I'm not doing anything tricksy. Yeah. At the moment, so no. All right. So winter should describe how the path before you is fraught with peril. And you describe how you retreat to safety. Okay, good. Oh, wait, no, I'm reading the wrong one. Apologies. It's, yeah, it's Wolf. <laughs> no, I, I was on oh, the wrong right. move. Um, oh. uh, behold the world. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, ask Winter what sight, sound, sense, or taste confuse or scare you. Ooh, um, I think I want to know what sense confuse or scare me. All right. Um, Right, so this is the first time with the wolf senses, uh, things are coming in. The most obvious ones are things that you have smelled as as a human, uh, which include like a, the pines and the plants and, and things like that. And also include uh, game animals because you may mm. have you know hunted those and whatnot. Um, but there's another one that it takes a while like it's it's out there you don't quite know what it is but it doesn't smell like a game animal it smells uh and that's that's what's causing some nervousness right like there's another Mm -hmm. animal at least of wolf size uh in the vicinity yeah i I think i had a moment of feeling like fuck yeah wolf in charge of everything oh no wait small tiny yeah (laughs) bigger things out there yeah and that's and that's kind of a new thing for me i've always felt like i can be in control and win or whatever and this is like oh no something could just here be dragons (laughs) we're in this case wolves (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Uh, does anyone else want to roll to behold the world while we're at it here yeah sure yeah what can go wrong exactly (laughs) <laughs> uh, so that is one wolf that's one blood i think one blood yes you're right yes uh all right ask winter what you should have noticed had the environment not conspired against your senses uh i mean i could just answer that <laughs> um the well okay i'm gonna i'm gonna So uh, the it's the same sort of situation. You're just not quite used to, um, oh, yeah, you're not used to this. And what you, the thing that's not happening in your brain that should be happening is that your brain should be telling you that this scent of this other animal is moving, which that's something you do know, but it's moving to get downwind of you. It's not moving away from you, right? It's trying to get to... Uh, uh, somewhere where you can't smell it, you know, into a blind spot. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's good. Uh, do you, does does uh, um, Smoke want to do any beholding of the world while we're here or? I'll, I'll try it, yeah. Right. Hmm. <laughs> Dice are on fire. Can, yes. I, can I throw my supernatural on this? If you want, yeah, we can. Uh, yeah. That'll bring you up to the. That's a, a two blood now. 
Okay, so you can choose one question from the blood list, which is on page 15. Yeah. And just to, just to clarify, the reason why we're adding three of the blood roll is because you are witness to Stranger Things the most, and yeah. when smoke is faced with supernatural, you may add three dice to the blood roll after yeah. rolling. So we're now establishing this is a supernatural phenomenon. Yeah. Uh, what do they want from me? And they oh. is open to the open yeah, to winter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. Um, I thought I had a good idea, but I actually have a better idea. All right. So this is okay. what's happening. <laughs> Sorry. Sweet. That's why I had that pause there. Yeah. Um, you're uh y your smell in particular is the same as the the powders that you used right mm -hmm. so you have you have come from human and become uh animal and i'm i'm trying to figure out how to convey the okay i can tell you the answer to the question which is they want that Right, it's an animal that wants to go the other direction. Oh, uh, I think they're just going to come out and say it because uh, I can't think of another way to 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 present that to you. So, uh, from downwind, uh, there's a voice. It's a, a low, soothing voice, um, and I'm not going to dance around it. It is a uh, Oh, uh, it's a it's a ghost cat. It's a mountain screamer. It's a catamount. It's a uh, the thousands of names for a mountain lion. Uh, and um, it just speaks in this almost hypnotic hypnotic tone, and uh, it's like I know you're not what you look. <laughs> I know you're not what you present yourself to be, and I know you know how to to do this, I want to know this. I want this secret. Uh, the, the rest of you do hear that as well. That's the, um, it's a bit like coming from behind you, even though it doesn't have to be behind you because it's just downwind. Uh, yeah, um, I would just like stand between that voice and these two other wolves that I'm with who mm -hmm. are you know, it's my fault they're in this position right now. <laughs> um, and just sort of be like, we, we're just passing through. We have no valuable secrets to share. We're exactly what we look like. What are you even talking about? And I'm going to lie through my teeth. But wolf, wolf wise. All right. Yeah. yeah. Bend the world to your will. I yeah. think so. Yeah. Does anybody so, else want in any the, this response? Yeah, yeah, this is, let me just read how this sets up here. When the pack wishes to say to hunger, seize what they desire, or accomplish something unnatural for a wolf, have the wolf with the highest feral roll, that's in the pack here, and uh, the highest feral is off in the distance right now. Yeah. Uh, if more than one wolf has the highest feral, the wolf players may choose who among the tied wolves will roll. So, you're doing something deceptive, but you're a pack. Mm -hmm. and you all have equal feral, so you can choose which amongst you gets to roll. Who's the trickiest? <laughs> <laughs> which, which way do I point? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> For you, Misha, down, everybody is down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, definitely... so what, what, oh. am I, what am I doing? What, what, yeah, what, what, what do you need? <laughs> we're on pages 16 and 17. And you're just going to roll those, and you're going to add your blood result if if you want. Like roll first, and then decide if you want. Got add, it. Add your three. Oh. Uh, well, that puts me to three blood, anyways, right? That's a no, three it's wolf. a three wolf. Three wolf. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, so adding three blood would not be good. <laughs> yeah, that would not be good. Yeah. <laughs> so on page uh, 16, 
Uh -huh. There's a list there. Uh, you get to choose two from the list at the bottom of that page there. Um, uh, I would say none are put in peril. Okay, good. Um, and uh, no one else must go without. All right. Ooh. Okay, so um, it, the the one that you're not the two that you're not choosing here. One of them doesn't uh, matter. It's just a bonus thing you can get. But the other one, uh, tell us how the pack gets what they seek or say it's a hunger, and you're seeking to deceive this thing, uh, this this mountain screamer, uh, deer stalker. Mm -hmm. It's oh, it's it's worth it to go to the Wikipedia and just look up all the different names for mountain lions because. <laughs> They're amazing. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I, it, so you're not put in peril and nobody goes without. So I think what happens is that you, try to keep us uh, all together. Yeah, yeah. I think the, 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 well, okay. So the, the mountain lion is just, I uh, responds by saying that's not true we both know <laughs> that's not true but I'm patient <laughs> and uh like reveals themselves in the like from behind some trees at one moment uh because they've got that nice like reflective coat uh and then just disappears back into the shadows Right. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's let's cut over to Greybeard for a moment here. Sounds good. Uh, Greybeard, you're having a fun time. Okay. Um, I think the dogs are out. So, yeah. There's there's dogs. I think that there's there's definitely humans uh, who are running with the dogs. So the dogs are ahead of the humans. Yeah. Uh, and you're definitely ahead of the dogs. You, uh, but it's it's a thing where where the others got to just kind of sit and rest. <laughs> That's not an option for what's happening now. Uh, you're running off onto a more um, open plain before the the mountain itself. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, the dogs are echoing all around and you can see, yes, <laughs> uh, you can see the, the, the humans, uh, some with torchlight, uh, I think probably even like, yeah, I want there to be a sleigh. There's got to be a sleigh with yes. um, the dog, uh, the do a dog, dog pulled sleigh. Sure. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, so you're in the middle of a chase here. So what, what is your plan? What are you um, I think for a moment in the beginning, I think it's just like you said, the, the winter's wrath that I suffered was this, this panic, this anxiety. And so I think at first it's just sort of blind running and, and, and fear. And then I think um, I start listening to, and I hear the sounds of the, the bang of the barking behind me and the, and the, uh, and, and the sounds. And um, I, I start listening to the wind to um, try and hear the sounds of, of water running uh, that, that might be carried. And, and I think the wind told me before where I needed, where uh, to told me rumors. And I don't know if the wind lies or tells the <laughs> truth, um, but now I don't trust humans. So I'm going to try trusting the wind and see, see what happens. So I'd like to- I, I will note that my voice sounds like the wind. Yeah. So you can oh. just like, Think about that. <laughs> I, I will note that Graybeard feels betrayed again. The shadow <laughs> didn't come with him. Uh, shadow didn't come on the first track, and when Graybeard ran off, Shadow didn't come again. So just just saying, fair, feeling fair. like our ancient friendship that meant so much to both of them some time ago. How did it turn to nothing? Why why did why did why did Shadow not come again? Uh -huh. uh, but that's okay. That's that's a fleeting human thought. <laughs> right now I have pressing wolf thoughts and yes. the pressing wolf thought is how do I cross a body of water so that uh, the, the, my scent can't be tracked. Okay. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. Um, so I would like to observe um, the world, behold the world around me, and yeah. uh, try and try and yeah. So let's let's do that again. I'm about to click on OBS, which will not work. <laughs> oh, nice! That's oh, a nice. wolf six. That is good. <laughs> so you get to I'm choose three from the wolf questions. Nice. Um. Okay. Choose three, and you must answer them unambiguously. <laughs> well, I said I wanted to listen for the sound of the of yeah. the of the river. So, what do my ears tell me? Uh, yeah, I think you. Um, yeah, I mean, you also knew that there would be a river. You're not so lost from uh, having gone this trek as a human before. Yeah. Um, so you can hear where the river is, and I think it's also. Uh, heartening to know that it's so close. Um, distances are different when you're a wolf, mm -hmm. when you run as a wolf, you know, yeah. and, and you and can travel fast. Yeah. And, and so uh, I think you're excited about that. Uh, and the, um, I will say that your ears also tell you that the, the dogs, uh, whether or not they're, they're successfully communicating this to the humans, they are, telling each other that they know where you are right they're barking and and yelling like he's oh, over no here way. yeah it's this way <laughs> yeah um uh okay excellent um i would also like to know what my nose tells me um uh i can i can smell things from far away um i'm yeah i'm wondering uh, in particular i'm wondering how much heart the humans have in this you know are they filled with vigor and vile or are they likely to say ah this isn't worth it like what, yeah. what, what like what passions are filling them i think or, or how passionate are they oh okay that's good yeah i don't know um, if, that's, if that qualifies but that's what i'm imagining is like the smells that they would exude yeah would, would well specifically the sense of familiar beasts will reveal their emotional and physical states to the wolves yeah <laughs> uh, that's what so I want. uh uh, you know, okay, so the reason why this ruckus when they heard wolves is because they've got they they friends and family in that mountain, right? Like uh, the, people are out on a search party and suddenly there are wolves uh, about. So uh, this is a um, so I think they're going they're they're less likely to just give it up they probably wouldn't even put this effort in uh if they you know chase the wolf off the farm that's fine but now they're like oh we have to we have to find these wolves before they harm uh our kinfolk that are out there right right, right. uh so there's there's definitely a panic that they're feeling that you're smelling on the wind nice i think it mirrors probably my own yeah um and the last one i would say is what do my instincts tell me all right. Uh, uh, know what threat to avoid. What's vulnerable play? Yeah. What it, controlled what? into what wrestling? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Um. I had not even thought of that uh, until just now. Uh, but these are dogs, and dogs will wrestle. Um. I am drawing them away from the humans, right? Like yeah, you are. Don't move as fast as the dogs do. So yeah. there's an opportunity for us to connect before the humans arrive. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm. I am down with that. I think that that's your. Um, uh, what your instincts are telling you is that uh, you can. Well, okay. So your instincts aren't going to lie to you. Yeah. So they're going to say that the dogs will wrestle with you <laughs> they're not going to say that that's the best course of action right that's <laughs> uh we'll let you decide uh how you want to take that but yeah your instincts are definitely telling you that um yeah is that uh, good does that feel like that's great yeah yeah that sounds, that's that sounds fantastic it feels like i have this sort of moment where i pause and i'm up on some majestic crest and the, mm -hmm. and the uh, Aurora Borealis is glinting off the snow. And there's this moment of like, run to try and get across the river and, um, and, and, and flee or 
wait and wrestle with them and hopefully convince them that um that uh you know that we're allies or whatnot and uh i think this is a interesting moment of indecision for graybeard because one represents sort of embracing society again and trying to like connect with the dogs and the other one is fleeing from that society which he has done so much um would you want me to make that decision now or do you want to cut away uh, um but I, I guess I'll, I'll leave it up to um the rest of the pack uh do you have a thing that you want to do at this very moment all right let's yeah let's see this decision mm-hmm all right let's let's see if it burns let's see if it burns him a graybeard is going graybeard is fundamentally not someone who wants to retreat from society he, he has but it is not his desire to be disconnected from those around him uh he just hasn't figured out how to make it work yet so he's going to try and make it work so he's going to look and he sees this river in front of him and he realizes he can run across it and maybe lose their scent um but if not if anyway these are those are again human thoughts wolf thoughts are what do i do now and what i do now is i will teach these dogs that i am their friend by wrestling with them perfect (laughs) good doggos yeah good doggos all right so let's go back to the wrestling rules on page 10 all right um i think i leap down from the snow and i tackle one of them and i roll around and snow goes flying i We'll add that uh, you did you did your instincts um, when you beheld the world, and it says, uh, "If winter agrees that you're acting on this knowledge, you may add one to your feral." And you are, so awesome. y- you can add one to your feral if you'd like. I would like to do that. Yeah. So that makes it a my three feral. Uh, does is it is it permanently adding one to my feral? Or yep. Just just for that. Oh, yeah. cool. So I have three feral now. Yeah. So that makes a. A wolf four. Nice. On this roll. Describe your joyous play with other dogs. <laughs> yeah, with other dogs. Um, I think it goes from yeah, I mean, I think it's I think it's like kids who don't know how to uh ex- express themselves with words very well, and so they fight and they realize that they're not fighting uh about anything all that important and whatever they were fighting about is sort of forgotten by the end because it's fun to scrap and wrestle and twig yeah. snap and snow <laughs> and, and 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 animals get dumped in snow and at first it's just like at first it's just me and like one other like lead dog but then eventually it just becomes this like giant pile it's like everyone dives in and, and we're and and and, and we're playing I mean, it's really nice i'm i'm envisioning these dogs as like those big lanky but shaggy wolfhounds like uh yeah and just yeah uh i i and probably at first the the wrestling is like even if there wasn't a wolf involved if you were like the owner of one of these dogs you'd be worried about like whoa whoa, whoa you shouldn't be interacting with other dogs that way but then yeah it, it yeah I think it is rough. I, I think it yeah. is rough and and snarly, and it looks to humanize like it's got filled with a lot of malice. Um, and probably at first it is, but I think that malice slips away pretty quickly yeah. in, into play. Well, I'm going to switch to the other pack. Sweet. <laughs> uh, uh, and I'll say that um, I, I, you probably heard the dog still in the distance barking, and that has gone quiet now. I'll let you decide whether that's good or bad news. <laughs> we have to find Greybeard. We can't, yeah. like, if something's happened to Greybeard, we have to go and, and get it. Like, yeah, we can't yeah, do this. That, yeah. Gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so convincing. <laughs> Would be the right thing to do. <laughs> I also very much want to get us away from the mountain lion. Just gut instinct. <laughs> What if we hopped One in the river? Them. Yeah, Three well, <laughs> I don't feel confident in my mountain lion combat, <laughs> personally. <laughs> Not All right, let's good. go find him. Um, so if the river is, is near Greybeard, is it possible that it also passes by us? Sure, yeah. So is your, uh, I'm finding him, uh would be pretty easy like with a to behold the world but do you have like another plan that you want to put in action or do you just want to 
follow the river or so tell me how this interacts with the rules like as a like i feel like my wolf would know that we needed to hide our scent from this mountain lion so it can't sure. continue to be patiently hunting us um or tell other things our secret like i don't know I don't like having something that knows what I'm up to yeah. <laughs> around. Um, uh, so my instinct would be to, to probably get in the, the river um, and sure. take it as close to Greybeard as we can. But how would I in, figure out if that's going to work? Or In most cases, if we're not beholding the world or facing the perilous, we just say to hunger and bend the world to our will. So uh, again, it's the person with the highest feral rolls, but you're all tied. So you can decide who gets to roll for this. Um, And specifically, you're trying to uh, hide your scent uh, and um, yeah. Yeah. We're trying to hide our, our sim. I, I think uh, there's a, a ear holding my beer moment for a second, and and uh, uh, urine kind of just like rolls around in the area, and just like spreads her scent everywhere. Which is <laughs> this isn't quite a wolf scent. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, the garbage mm, all over yeah. the snow. Do you do you want to roll then? Yeah. yeah, sure. Okay, you can't click on actual play. It won't work if you do it on Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried, it doesn't. I don't know why. This oh, game in particular, oh, we just, for some reason. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. So you get to choose one wolf or one pair or one blood. Uh, these are on pages, sorry, 16 and 17. Uh, the wolf one is. Winter should describe how the path before you is fraught with peril, and you describe how you retreat to safety. Or the blood one is, ask Winter what peril you must face before you reach the end of this path. And I I will tell you that the main difference here is that wolves are smarter about peril than humans. (laughs) Uh, but that, that, m- m- you might want to face peril in order to get to to Greybeard. It's up to you. Yeah, let, let's let's uh, tell me how the path is fraught with peril. All I, right, I will tell you how we retreat to safety. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, okay. I'm gonna um, the. The geography here is such that the the humans that have lost their dogs uh, are now have come to a stop. Like the sled, uh, and then a bunch of the ones that were running along behind have come to a stop here uh, at the banks of the river. So you come out of the forest, and th- there's a uh, a gathering of humans with torches and uh, you know. Uh, uh, flintlocks or you know like whatever the early early wep- early guns uh maybe some spears and stuff um maybe like a dozen of them uh milling about oh maybe they've met up with a, a search party as well mm. and uh they're talking about the wolves yeah our, our whole plan was to get out before the search party yeah Getting a little distracted. The spell took longer than we thought, right? Yeah. <laughs> we all passed right. out. Yeah. The spell. <laughs> uh, so that's the peril. The peril is these uh, armed humans that are now terrified of wolves uh, that stands before you. So how do you retreat to safety? Um, so we're trying to follow the river. Um, mm-hmm. And I think we, we get to a point where uh, it's just solid enough that we can cross the river instead. Um, whereas mm-hmm. the rest of it's been only partially frozen over. Mm-hmm. Um, but we finally get to a spot where it's it's thick enough that it'll support our weight and we just cross the river to the other side instead. Um, thereby avoiding them entirely. Okay. Yeah, just kind of go out wide. Yeah. And- 
Sounds good to me. Uh, yeah, so I think what the, the end result there is that it's going to take you a while to get to a place where you can pick up Greybeard's um, scent. Uh, so in that time, Greybeard is wrestling with dogs. <laughs> I, I would like to premise that at this point, the dogs are now part of the pack. Oh, well, I think so. That's what that's that's like, uh, like with that result. I felt like there's I definitely to show up with a bunch of dogs. Yeah. <laughs> if if not all of them, definitely a bunch of them. Like a handful yeah. of dogs yeah, have yeah. shown up. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't mind pulling pulling everyone back together here. Uh, mm. And uh, yeah, so um, you're on the other side of the river. Uh, uh near the mountain here and you have a bunch of I, I think probably very excited dogs this is a very different night for them this is not a thing that they're used to <laughs> uh and so yeah uh they're yeah they're they're, they're um yeah and i think the, the the sentiment that i share with them dogs love their humans right Mm -hmm. And the sentiment that I think I share with them is that we're going to get them. Come with me. Let's go get them. Like, right. Forget those useless two-legged people <laughs> with torches. We have scent. We have smell. We have ears. We got this. Let's go find our humans, right? Yeah. And and I think that that's that. I don't know. That seems right to me. Um, oh man, I'm that. so against this. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Let me let me just play into that a little bit there because I think. The other thing, they're so excited about all this and they're excited that there are now more wolves that they try to wrestle with you. Now, it's perfectly fine if you don't wrestle with them, but I'm saying that they they are coming, uh, putting down all the signs that they want to play. Uh, oh, this is when we all get back together? Again? Yeah, with, okay. with the rest of the pack. I think they've yeah, played yeah. enough with Greybeard now. Yeah, but yeah. Like, <laughs> I, was just saying, I felt like we, we had a good play. It was, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think... Um, yeah, I imagine this reunion looks a little strange. You know, it's a bunch of <laughs> dogs and wolves, but um, I, 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 I let out a, a howl of joy at seeing all of you. Oh, uh, but it's not a loud one. It's it, or not not a long one. It's not a it's not a you know that same like remorseful long one. But it's mm -hmm. that, it's that like hey, we're all back together. And then like, as soon as I do that, like all these other dogs come running. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> and Shadow gives, just is like a series of like angry barks. That's good. Of just, no, you are not bringing pets <laughs> up the mountain. You are not leading more innocent people into danger just because you think you can handle it. They can't. Send them home. No. Fast. Nice. Um, how do you how do you want to do you want to resolve this with wrestling? <laughs> it, it's not no, any I, playful wrestling. Yeah, it accommodates I, that. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, like how do wolves just how do wolves re resolve disputes? Actually? Well, I mean, we can like if you do, if you don't want to wrestle, then I could just say how they react to that argument mm -hmm. there, which I could totally do. Uh, yeah. It do uh, does um, I'm checking the names here again. Smoke and Yearn. Do you wrestle with them, or do you just sit with uh, uh, Shadow? Oh, I'm really torn. What do you think, Yearn? I like kind of give the like most disgusted look possible, and just <laughs> keep going towards the uh, the cave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like no <laughs> yeah i'm not i'm not stopping now we've found we've done what we said we have to do we need to we need to get ahead of this we've seen the search party yeah um, yeah so yeah okay. i give some sort of like no time for play sort of barks <laughs> yeah, that's good <laughs> so yeah not I think really that... winning over these dogs. yeah yeah <laughs> oh uh, man they were so excited yeah oh, right i think like a couple of the dogs you know, take that energy and just wrestle each other for a little bit uh, or, you know, off the, but definitely the dogs are lagging back a little bit, uh, but they're also tired. They've been running uh, 
as much as some of you have been <laughs> at least Greybeard, i guess yeah. uh um so but they'll go with you yeah uh but they'll stay behind they're no longer as exuberant you've managed to to bring them uh unless you really want to chase them off i'm that I wouldn't. I'm not going to help do that. I'm. I'm. I'm busy going to the mountain. But Shadow, what do you think? Uh, I'm. I'm going to chase him off. I'm. Right. I'm. Yeah. I'm putting think, my my paw down about this. I'm very. I think Greybeard is going to raise his haunches at that and and mm -hmm. and try to wrestle you about this. Okay. Um, oh. That, that like that. That's not okay. Like we're not letting. We're not abandoning <laughs> anybody out here in the snow. Barely started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, right. Like, great. Uh, yeah. So I think I think Greybeard is hurt and like on multiple levels that are hard to that are hard to explain. But like, but like, it it's it was okay at first. But then when you're like trying to scare them away, it's like now we're out in the middle of nowhere. We're across the river. Um, yeah. Their humans will find them soon. <laughs> So would you rather get them slightly turned around here or lost up on the mountain? Uh, I think Greybeard yips that we won't be lost. We know the way. You're going to spend your whole time taking care of them rather than the people that we're supposed to go rescue. They're going to help us. Yeah. I think I, at this point, Smoke would yeah. interfere as well and be like, look, no, we have to go. Like, we have to go and I will wrestle Shadow if that is what it takes. But like, we have to go up the mountain. Yeah. Um, Shadow, are you, are you, do you want to roll and see if we can wrestle our way back to agreeing with each other or see if it goes Sh badly? Shadow will start going, but basically it's just like, these dogs are going to die and that's going to be your fault. And the humans are going to die and that's going to be your fault. It's all <laughs> going to be your fault fault because you had to be in charge and you right. had to have people worship you uh yeah i think if there was time to talk it out or time to wrestle about it graybeard would would have his 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 feelings about this as well but at this point he right is going to defer to smoke and just be really hurt by shadow with that yeah <laughs> uh all right so if I if I understand correctly, we're going up the mountain now, uh, yeah. and we try to keep the dogs at bay. Uh, is that true? That like just kind of shout them off, or um, just ignoring them? I'm ignoring them. Yeah, like if they're following, cool. If they're not following, that's also <laughs> right. cool. Yeah. I, I I think they follow from a distance uh, because that's what they set out to do in the first place. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. All right. Um, let's head up this mountain. Let's try and find something on this mountain. Let's let's do a behold the world here. Yeah. So let we're going further into. Um, the night i think uh we're heading actually closer to to dawn right so uh it's that nice deep blue where the stars are starting to disappear but no the sun hasn't come up yet um and uh you've been going for a while and i think the dog the distance that the dogs are falling behind is getting uh greater and greater uh and uh yeah that is the passage of time that is the as we like to say in this household that's the pterodactyl that goes across in the cartoon and any <laughs> cartoon that has that's how they tell the passage of time they have a pterodactyl go by and do that pterodactyl scream uh so uh who would like to behold the world uh we're beholding sure. the world in, in the attempt. The, the, the idea here is that we're trying to find our way up to. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're looking for the, yeah, either yeah. survivors or this relic or, or what have you. Yeah. I, I would like to, but I would uh, like other folks to, to do it as well. 
I think I'd be looking to Greybeard because this is the route that you took with the humans. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And keep you on task, but I don't know where we're going. Mm -hmm. Um, All right. That's a wolf. Oh, wow. Yeah. Seven. So you get the three, (laughs) three questions. Um, what does my nose tell me? Uh, we're gonna smell them more than we're going to. Yeah. Else. Uh, your nose tells you. So you're up the mountain quite a bit now. Um. And uh, your nose tells you that survivors have come this way. Uh, so you, you're, they've come down the mountain some from where you are, like across the path that you're taking up. So uh, as you're heading back to where you last left everyone, uh, there's this moment where you sort of turn to the right and realize that uh, you can pick up this faint trail of, um, a faint smell of of other humans uh, heading. Uh, I'm, I'm envisioning the mountains as being basically to the east of this town. So you you heading sort of southward. Um, all right. Yeah. Okay. So they've they've come down in an attempt to find a yeah get back oh, and, or find a, find a safe place. And you get to know their emotional and physical states, and I think that they're they're uh hungry and um yeah well i mean it's the obvious thing. they're not in the best of states yeah, <laughs> like right. there's there's we knew right. this going into it i think yeah. i'm going to mark that i'm going to to mark that area so that oh. when the dogs catch up they kind of know that they can go like find them nice yeah um so that like they can be rejoined they have the warmth and the companionship of the dogs that they um you know maybe the dogs can help them hunt and 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 all and and all these other things and i think that's what the dogs want as well like they want to be rejoined so i'm gonna i'm gonna mark that okay um and then um uh what does uh you hear frequencies depending on conditions six sounds from miles away what does my what do, do my ears tell me? What do I hear on the wind? Because I, I kind of feel like this is like the humans yeah. have gone that way, but I also know like we wanted to know the source of 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 this avalanche. Right, right. There's others that are still up there. So I'm kind of, my intent is to sort of split the party by letting the dogs go off to t- tend to the humans that have gone off one way and that we can, if there, if there is anything up the hill still, that you know yeah yeah uh i think well there's two things that your ears tell you uh the from up the hill uh you can hear the wind uh and i I think you can hear the threat of another avalanche right like the 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 way the snow up in the mountains can creak uh and the other thing that your ears tell you is you hear a voice that you haven't heard behind you uh, where the dogs are uh, telling the dogs <laughs> to turn back. Okay. Does that is that unambiguous enough for you? I can tell you it's straight not, up. Yeah. Okay. I, that's is this, the, is this the mountain lion. That's that the is, mountain lion. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. Who I don't think. Well, I don't. I don't know. I don't know how much you've conveyed to me about the mountain lion, but it doesn't seem like the mountain lion has our sort of best interests. No. In fact, I think <laughs> that you can hear like it's it's basically whispering to the dogs, uh, telling him to go back that they want no part of what will happen next. Right. Yeah. Like this is. Uh, so so I think I do that thing where I like circle around in a circle for a little bit and I mark the area so the dogs know where the people are and I sort of stop and and and, and make some uh, scratch at the dirt and make some iffy noises. All that is to convey to my 
pack to my fellow wolves that like uh, there are people here that have already come down and we could just go tend to them if we go up we risk being caught in another avalanche um which i de- which at this point I, I i defer to shadow to say that i don't think the dog should come with us and they should go after the people but we could go up there if we wanted to find the source of this avalanche if we still care about that um yeah and i look to i look to shadow who's very invested in not getting more people hurt and, and to smoke and to and to yearn i mean I don't, I don't know if Yuren's fiance is still up there or in this in this party that's come down. Well, I don't think I know his scent well enough. Actually, I, let me just say that that his scent is in this, right? Because you would know that. Okay. Somewhat, you know, like the, not like as a human, you'd be like, oh, this smells like. <laughs> right, right. Uh, I don't remember his name anymore. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, but it, like in your, in, you've rolled such a high wolf thing that your your okay. instincts are like yeah Perfect. i remember awesome so this is a great decision for smoke and urine to make do yeah. we go after the, the humans who have come down the hill and stick with the dogs or do we send the dogs on their own and leave your loved one to his own and go up to find the source of the avalanche and i'll leave Trick that question <laughs> to you too <laughs> Or do you three? But I, I imagine that you have that you two have strong feelings. About it. Yern does not care about why the avalanche happened. Yern cares about getting her boyfriend back. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm invested in getting the humans back safely, but that's out of guilt. Very curious about the cause of the avalanche. And I'm going to let curiosity get the better of me uh, and, oh. and press forward. Hmm. Do, do we split the party? Oh, the pack. I'm sorry, the pack. <laughs> Focus. <laughs> I mean, I... I've put some weird magic on the line here, and I want to go find out about weird magic as a result of it. But... Mm-hmm. I also don't know how the magic we're currently using works. So I want to communicate to the rest of you that like, I don't know if we have infinite time as wolves. Yeah. Um, and I don't know, I don't know what will happen on the mountain or, you know, but I, you know, you know, that, 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 you know, we know where the humans are. We know where town is like, just to let you know that these are the knowns and these are the unknowns based on what I've done to us. <laughs> I think letting the humans alone, I feel that uh, the mountain lion will likely follow you, Smoke. Yep, uh, also that. <laughs> so to let you go up on the hill alone um, would be to um would be to uh let you face that danger that peril on your own um but i also shouldn't lead the mountain lion to the humans probably humans have guns they'll shoot the mountain lion but why care not these humans right <laughs> yeah. like, not the humans we're going to not the humans that we're going to rescue right like, yeah they, they might have something but they're in real bad shape um, if we lead if we lead them there mm. Um, yeah, I feel like there's a, a difficult decision that should maybe be solved through grooming or wrestling. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I feel like these are. Yeah, I think we got to huddle up. All right. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> you you're definitely in a spot where you can groom. Uh, and Greybeard still has Winter's Wrath, so that if you groomed as a group, uh, that would take care of that. Mm-hmm. Um. And he is maybe uh, not thinking as wisely right now because of the panic and the yeah mm-hmm. that he's feeling. And if that is the case, everyone else is allowed to take one feral uh, because I think everyone has less feral than yeah. Greybeard. I think everyone's got zero, and Greybeard has three right now. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm gonna take one. Yeah, cool. Sure. 
Yeah. Um, so we groom. Mechanically, we do all those things, but also we. Yeah. Oh, we the taking one feral is a choice. Yeah, yeah it's a choice. Oh, and no, I will. Okay. I will. I will be part of the the group grooming, but I I'm not gonna take it. Yeah, yeah. Gro grooming is an important part of pack health and communication. When wolves groom one another, they clean each other's fur, teeth, and any wounds they've suffered. This reaffirms their bonds and relationships. Grooming can only happen in quiet moments. Um, so I I feel like um, my sense to yearn is that um, people will keep going up this hill and people will keep getting hurt. And as hard as it is to let your Beyonce go, if we go after him now, the mountain lion will will chase him. If we if we go up the hill, um, the dogs will take care of them, and that will. Uh, and then if the mountain lion does pose a threat, it'll be to us and not to these sort of defenseless people. So it's not an easy thought, but um, or an easy choice, but I, that's. The proposition, that proposal that I would, would give to Yearn, and and I'll just throw out there mechanically, it doesn't matter to me if you go one way or the other or split the party or whatever. Like that, don't don't let that meta part interfere with the decision. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm intrigued to see what folks do, but uh... yeah, I guess I'll add a caveat that. But if you want to go, I'll go with you. Like I'm way less invested in finding out the magical source of this as I am getting people to safety. I'm just worried about leading the mountain lion to them. Can you forgive the person who led your husband to possible doom, well, your fiance, <laughs> enough to take him with you to try and save your fiance? Yeah, because that's his responsibility. <laughs> yeah, do you want to do push him at the here. humans first? <laughs> uh, do you honestly think that leading this lion away will actually work? I think the lion will chase smoke because it wants smoke's magic. I think wherever smoke goes, people are will people will be imperiled by the lion. <laughs> no pressure, but you're a you know a curse amongst humans. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, wherever uh, you go, death follows. So that's uh, up. Bummer, <laughs> but right. I'm for now, but the second we get rid of the lion. I mean, if you want to go just fight the lion, I will. Graveyard oh, will go with you and like fight the lion too. She like, like looks at herself and looks at you like. <laughs> you look like I want to fight a lion. I can't fight a lion. There's four of us. There were three of us before. Um, yeah. Can we okay. smell the lion? Yeah, you want to uh, behold the world? Yeah, I just want to smell the lion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's smell I mean, alive. we know we, we we heard him on the wind, right? Like, yeah. We know he's there. But you know, so, smelling him, you can learn you can learn what he's thinking. Yeah. Oh, not oh. a great role. Um for blood. Yeah. So you get to on page fifteen you get to ask three you're gonna come at this from a very human mind. Okay. Mm. Well I already know what it wants from me. Um where am I most advantaged? Oh, that's a good one. Um, well, okay. So I guess there are... Uh, I'm going to lean into your sorceress side here. Um, there's, there's a clear answer to that, which is their safety in numbers, right? So if you uh, got the not just the pack, but the dogs as well. Uh, there may be carnage, but the, that seems like a, a better uh, way to deal with this lion than mm -hmm. uh, you know just on your own. Uh, but I, I will say that there's also a part of you that thinks that uh, 
um, that it's no coincidence that there's a lion that knows something of magic following you as you're heading towards uh, this mountain, right? Like the, that uh, you think that there, there's something that draws both of you towards whatever relic they dreamt of. Uh, uh -huh. So I, I, yeah, I think that you also feel that uh, if you get to it first, you'd be more advantaged. Yeah. All right, and then my next question is, who is vulnerable? And maybe what I mean is like most vulnerable. Yeah. Uh, well, no, uh, I think. Uh, well, okay. So the dogs are a little vulnerable because they're not <laughs> they're not good with mountain lions. Um, I definitely think the uh, survivors that have come out of the mountain uh, are vulnerable. They're they're you know they've been exposed to the elements for a long time and they're trying to find their way back. Uh, and I think out of the group, I don't, I think you're feeling pretty strong now. You've all kind of groomed and settled down and, and you've spent most of the night in your wolf bodies. I think you're starting to feel wolfy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to, Oh, I get a third one. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. These are all really fun questions. Yeah, um, really good. Who who is in control right now? <laughs> oh, see, I like when it makes me rethink things. Um, <laughs> I think you feel that the mountain lion's in control right now. Ah, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> checks out yeah yeah it's toying with you a bit yeah yeah i communicate to all of you that i don't think we can turn the tables on the mountain lion until i get to the source of all of this strangeness mm -hmm. um i do think the mountain lion poses a risk to the humans and i can maybe smell hunger various kinds of hunger on this lion uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can hear it in its voice and how it is being manipulative and careful. That this line wants uh, many things, and I don't want it to get those things. Um, so that's what I'm going to communicate to the group. Like, I think this thing is a danger, but I think we might have an advantage if we get up the mountain ahead of it. Mm -hmm. And by we, I kind of mean me, but I also don't really know how to promise anything because I turned us into wolves, and here we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we uh, I think we go up the mountain and we leave our scent, so we know so it knows how we got up there. So it has mm. a it has a clear path towards us and not to the people, not to the and not to the um, the people. Like it's probably hungry, like wants to eat yeah. meat, mm -hmm. and also wants this magic. And I mm -hmm. think I bet if we give it the path to to us, it will seek that out more. It wants that more. It could get meat anytime, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is everyone down with that plan? Looking at yearn? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? It'll work. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's head up the mountain. Uh, I think that this is a a uh, perfect moment for a montage of a treacherous climb up the, the side of the mountain. Uh, Every so often stopping because you can hear rumbling uh, a little bit and uh, with the snow and the wind. Uh, but I'm not going to make uh, the mountain climb itself. I do <laughs> like a roll or anything like that. But um, I will say I, to, to, I, I have this, I think that it's like you're getting up the side of the mountain, you could see like light is starting to come out, um, you know, like the, the uh, dawn is coming and, and uh, spread out uh, from where you are in the mountain, you can see like the shadow of the mountain retreating as the sun is coming up. Uh, and you can see that the dogs uh, have listened or, you know, smell, listened to their noses and followed the trail that, that, that the, the 
gone in the direction, followed the signs that you left. Um, and uh, the mountain lion is following up behind you and not being terribly sneaky about it, like letting out roars every so often that are like... Uh, <laughs> D five four five. Yeah, yeah, they're very, they're very much <laughs> along those lines. They're, uh, um, so, uh, yeah, I think the um, we're gonna seat a hunger or bend the world to its. No, all right, we're gonna face a perilous here. That's what's gonna happen. Uh, you get up to the the ledge the the area where the you originally were sheltered right um and uh there's obvious signs that there had been people here uh for some time and uh they, they have climbed down and moved on um there's still like uh you know empty you know, gear that they didn't need that was no longer of any use to them. They left behind empty packs and things like that. Um, and uh, towards the back of this cave where this vision, where, you know, like you've at some point while you were trapped up here, you've, you've you fell asleep and people all had a vision of this relic. Um, yeah, just in the interest of moving things along, I think that uh, smoke um, can see that, like the back of the cave, there's there's uh, trapped in packed snow and ice. There, uh, there, you can sense that there is this relic, this thing that uh, is calling at this point, like inside your head, is calling out. Uh, but once the the four of you get inside the cave, that's when the mountain lion is now come you know just paw paw comes up over the ridge uh yeah. and uh it's time to face the perilous i think we need to to deal with this mountain line um unless somebody has a plan that they want to enact before any of this i'm totally down for that otherwise yep nope all right time to deal with the deal with the consequences yeah mm -hmm. In the midst of danger the pack should decide who among them is most vulnerable that wolf and any wolf willing to uh, or that wolf or any wolf willing and able to confront the peril in their stead must roll. And then anybody, nobody has winter's rest, so we don't have to do that. Yeah. So who amongst you is most vulnerable in this situation? I think it's smoke. I think I, it's smoke yeah. because it like, smoke. Because, <laughs> yeah. because it's so like, because you're its target, right? Like, yeah. Because, because of any of us, it wants you. Mm. So now I'm going to suggest that it's anyone but Smoke because Smoke is not is the only one that's not expendable mm. to the mountain lion. That makes sense. Does that does that make sense? I, I'm mm. I will go back on what you like. It's the pack who decides. I'm just. Offering I mean, it sort up. of depends on what the mountain lion's intent is. If it's capture or uh, bending to its will, I think Smoke is its target. If all it's right. kill all but you know the one i want then yes i agree you know like i don't, I don't know what you know. unless of course it's like oh it, it'll go through the rest of us to get to smoke mm. <laughs> and has yeah. no problem doing that hmm. so uh, we can say smoke that's i think that works now if anybody wants to roll in smoke stead just shout now otherwise we're going to have smoke roll yeah great great i mean it says that wolf or any wolf Willing to and able to confront the peril in their stead. Yeah. Yeah. Graybeard has a whole, whole, whole lot of guilt about getting people hurt. On this. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah. He definitely feels like he can't. Like the whole point of doing this was to let, not let the mountain lion mm -hmm. hurt people. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How that uh, hero? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, I think this would be great if it goes fantastically wrong for him. But, uh, <laughs> but, 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 Shell, is that is that cool with you? Like, I don't, I don't want to remove Smoke's agency in this moment. Like, no, Smoke's not a fighter. 
I mean, I don't know the Greybeard is either, but he's feral. Uh, yeah. yeah. So. You have you have two more ferals in smoke, and I think that's going to make you faster on the uptake in this All one, right. anyways. Oh. Well, that's a four wolf. Oh, wow. you, you are feral. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's feral. good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. If no other result says that says the peril persists, you may tell us how you chase it off, or if winter allows, slay it. If the peril is supernatural, or you face it alone, you must also suffer harm. I will tell you, it is supernatural. Yep. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. But I don't think I'm facing it alone. I mean, I guess it doesn't no. matter. I yeah. Mean, I have but the whole pack. Uh, so yeah. if no other choose one, I can either choose if no oh, other yeah, peril sorry. persists, you may tell. Okay, or I tell you how to receipt trade to save behind you. The peril will not persist on your account. Okay, no, I need to chase it off. I mean, that's okay. the whole point. Yeah. Um. So. so yeah, it comes up over this ridge. It's growling. Uh, its eyes are just on smoke, right? Like, uh, yeah. to a point where it's somewhere in your wolf instincts that seems very wrong like no mountain lion would walk into a pack of wolves uh it would wait for a wolf to fall behind and and prey yeah. on that right well i think i'm going to use that i think that's the advantage that's the opportunity that i'll take is that i just like graybeard sort of comes into the camera from scene left stage left you know and just tackles it uh uh from the side and knocks it uh i i mentioned that um that they were hiding in a cornice, you know, which is like mm -hmm. this like ice that's sort of grown out, which is which are famously unstable. <laughs> and I think that we wrestle and tangle and it collapses on top of us. Excellent. Um, uh that's how the you know the I don't know if, if it, it's your choice whether it's slain or not, but I think that's enough to uh you know catch yeah well or... definitely so let's go to suffering harm that's on page <laughs> 20. Yeah. Uh, when you suffer harm, choose one of the following and describe how it happens. Uh, and you can take a look at that list. Sure. Um, meat and bone. Describe oh, how you suffered a fatal blow and passes from this world. Wow. No. <laughs> it not collapses on both of us. No. Right? Like in order to slay the thing. Yeah. Like, like it doesn't work if like if it is survivable, then, <laughs> then it, we're both going to survive, right? I think, I yeah. think it, it collapses. And, and Greybeard is, is, uh, is, uh, is, is, you know, I, th I think it's, but yeah. that's the cost, right? I think there's this moment where it collapses and it makes this horrendous sound that just echoes everywhere. And, you know, the sun is glinting over the mountains and everything starts to shake a bit and everyone just goes very quiet. They're, the hair on the back of their, well, all their, I, sorry, your wolf's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> sticks up. We got lots of hair. All hair. Uh, and there's just this, like, long, silent moment as, like, the, that sound echoes through the valley for a while. And, uh, yeah, I think that that's definitely, uh, but I'm going to say... As far as we know, you've sl slain it, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I think as far as we know, at least we're both under, you know, got, like mm -hmm. under the other. Yeah. 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 Sounds good. And if for, again, for expediency's sake, can, can I say that like attempts to dig Greybeard out, unearth this relic, does that, does that work for everyone? Is that the- uh... Frozen into the cornice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Suddenly, yeah. thanks. Yeah, to... when it collapses. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. It's a. It's a. Um. It's a like. A, you know why not? It's a mountain lion skull that has been like silvered, right? Mm. In in some way. Uh, yeah. So, shall we lift the spell? Is there anything else anyone wants to do as wolves? Get back down the mountain. Yeah, yeah. I think we should get back to the. We, we should get back, back down the mountain as wolves. But um, yeah, Shadow's kind of like. So who's going to carry that? It's definitely mine. You just got to carry it in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not letting. The, this is a powerful relic. Mm -hmm. This is. This is the. This is. Uh, 
the three of you coming down the mountain with the sun out on a snow lit <laughs> field where like some lilting guitar music is playing in the background yes. and uh, yes. uh uh you know it's a big helicopter shot of the whole thing happening oh. um yeah i think uh we can go back is your uh, my quick question before we just to kind of frame it here do you go back and try to find humans or do you go back and try and change back to human form before finding humans i think we go back and maybe try to pick up the scent trail of the people that were coming down yeah 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 make sure they made it yeah all right yeah i think uh this is a great thing for the search parties to come across in the morning where there are these survivors limping along with a bunch of dogs and three <laughs> strange wolves hanging out with them, one of which has a silver skull in its mouth. <laughs> I'm hanging back. But... Yeah. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't mess with a, a wolf with a silver skull. No. Yeah. Like, it's, just... it's like the way that you you would carry it would be like to put your jaw like in, in its... its jaw. Yeah. It's yeah. like you're trying to eat each other. <laughs> So All right. It's a skull. Yes. Uh, yes. So, like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's time to lift the spell. We can do this in any order. Uh, uh, we, we got a, was it a plus three? I think it's a plus three because you did get the survivors and got the other thing. Uh, let me just, yep, three. Yeah, you can have a plus three to your blood die. Yeah. So what you're going to do on page 21. We're gonna roll to see if you manage to turn back into human. And I I mean, I guess the first person can roll could describe this unless I, I have a way that I think this might happen, but if, if anybody wants to trump it, go for it. Uh, no, all right. I just think, I feel like, well, let's see if anyone turns back to human before I did. Before <laughs> so who would like to roll first? I'm very invested in Yearn's uh, reunion. Yeah. yeah I think you're... Ah! Oh! oh! oh what a, but What's you got a plus feral? three blood. What's your feral? Okay. Uh, I had a feral. Okay. Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> because you compl because we completed the... Uh, yes. The, the, the... Yep. Uh, so... so you return to your original form in waking life, but run with the pack in your dreams. Uh, yeah. I mean... I kind of want to just see you transforming on the uh, the field as you're mm -hmm. heading towards your fiance, right? Like, can you describe uh, I was how that... Either that or like that the when the sun went down again, uh, I curled up next to him, and when we woke up, oh. I was human again. Oh. That okay, that's better. <laughs> just doing that, that's, keeping him warm. That's canon. Mm. <laughs> yes. All right, so who's romantic. next? Uh, I'll go next. Do you have right. feral? I do not. So that's so a two. All right. So it's the same. Right. You return okay. to your original form in waking life, but run with the pack in your dreams. What, when, when, and how does that come upon you? Um, I think. I mean, I I think it's the same. I think um, you know, I I see as um, I see yearn you know, curl up next to her, her fiance, who was absolutely the one that went in my life. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, of course. And I have very mixed feelings um, that <laughs> not quite worked out jealousy, I, you know, yeah. um, of some type and, uh, and go um, kind of off a away from everybody into the shadows and um, but emerge in the morning. Uh, human. Nice. All right. I have one feral, but that's still. Okay. Yeah. So you yeah. you too turn back into a human. You as well. Yeah. How does that? Um. I 
make sure everyone else has first. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> just like, like <laughs> just please, please, please let everybody else. <laughs> yeah, please, please, please let this curse lift. I did. I somebody died as a wolf. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I then I take the silver skull uh, into the woods a little bit and uh, sit it down and uh, just sort of let the the change come over me. Uh, really excited to see it with my uh, dual human vision. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Just like oh, yeah. so pumped to figure <laughs> out what the hell this thing is. Yeah. Um, and I feel like that's a, I don't want to tell you what it is. Nice. Excellent. Uh, I would like to roll game. as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, let's find out it what mattered to Graybeard that everyone was remembered, and I want to know whether he's remembered. Oh, and I don't know if he will be. I think if he gets a blood result, then he's remembered as human. If not, he's just a beast that died in the woods. Yeah. Uh, all right. Ooh. Well, he has plus three blood and plus three wolf, so that's still a tie. <laughs> oh dear, it's a one. Do oh. so you get to choose one wolf or one blood from that list? Yeah. Um. And we'll figure out how to interpret that, but I think it's a one blood uh, return to true form, find it unfitting, eschewing, eschewing civilization and companionship. The simple comforts of the wild. I think it's uh, yeah, yeah. You you can say how you think that reflects in in uh, whether or not that there's any any memory of a, of, of of him. Or not. I you know what I think that there's like. There's a couple of those dogs that even as they get older still howl for you, but like that's oh, like nice. that's it, right? Like yeah. the the um, you know people remember what happened, but they're they're uh, yeah, it's it, maybe even to the point where like a lot of people are like the actual adventure was just somebody's fever dream or something, you know, because uh, the you know the survivors are, but yeah. the but the dogs know nice. The dogs. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Thank you all so much. Yeah, thank you. Fun. This that was is really blast. great. I mean, it was yeah. no super wolf blood moon or anything, but no. <laughs> Didn't get deep into the moon. super blood wolf moon. There was apparently right. a pink something moon recently. Oh yeah, there was. Sorry, a what now? <laughs> Took a while to <laughs> figure that one out. Yeah, there's. I, I looked at Wikipedia about all the different kinds of moons there were, and there's there's so many. <laughs> it's wild. Uh, this was this is so much fun. Let's all let's all talk about ourselves for a second and what we're working on and where people can find us and things like that. Uh, how about you, Misha? What's Hi, I'm Misha. Uh, I uh, we are trying to get the last of a room finished up and out the door and and yeah. into print stuff. Uh, so, but we've got to get a little more art first. Because uh, hey, it turns out you need a little more than we thought. Uh, so that's where we are with that. And uh, yeah, doing some little stuff here and there. Um, uh, yeah, so yeah, you can find me on Twitter at BG Gameworks. Uh, I have a very ill used uh, <laughs> Instagram, uh, Elf Girl Craftworks, I think, uh, where I've been posting the random stuff I've been doing in quarantine because apparently people wanted to see that. So <laughs> that's where I've been putting it. Uh, how about you, Shell? <laughs> um, I have been painting weird maps uh, by letting watercolor bleed around on some paper. And you can see those on my Instagram at Portable City. Uh, but if you want to game more, I've got some spooky adventures up uh, in my shop, the Sorcerer's Catalog dot shop. Um, but I mean, you've just sat through my most recent <laughs> enormous accomplishment. Uh, mm -hmm. Working on Wolf Spell with Epi has been amazing. I'm so excited to hold one in my hands. Yes. Ah, uh, and you definitely don't want to miss out on a chance to own this. It's going to be heckin' gorgeous. I worked my butt off to make it as pretty <laughs> as it is, and it's already a great game, as you saw. Uh, how about you, Karen? Uh, I'm Karen, uh, she, her, K12s um, on Twitter and other things. Um, Sean is Agon. What's going on with Agon? We worked on a book. I edited a book. <laughs> yeah, she made a book. The book is available for pre-order. Um, but um, fun story about website. Agon is is the first game that Sean and I played together. Um, and now we have worked really? on the new one. And like that, yeah. So it was, it was, it was yeah, it was very sentimental. 
Yeah, it was an important, important game to us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's it, the PDF is out, but the books are on hold. Yep, whenever Taylor goes back to work, I'll start yeah. But yeah, check it out. Uh, how about you, Epi? Uh, I'm Epi, I'm Epidiah on Twitter. Uh, that's same thing as Shell. I've been, <laughs> uh, the link to the pre order is in the chat. You can also go to worldswithoutmaster.com slash wolfspell, uh, and that'll take you to it. I'm just gonna, I totally forgot to do this site gag, but. I've got the. Oh yeah. Oh, there it is. It's, it's how just very it big. Is. It's gargantuan. Oh my um, god! So excited. Now it won't. It, it'll be folded and glued together, <laughs> and <laughs> in the shape of an album cover. Uh, You're not gonna make you. it a poster on the wall. I. You know. I'm. <sighs> <laughs> Don't torment them. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, and we're so close. Like the uh, like I said, the last news I heard from the printer is that they're gluing it, so it should be shipping soon. Uh, so you can get in on those pre-orders, and if you back the Kickstarter, we shall be sending it out to you very soon now. And I'm super excited about that. Uh, how about yourself, Sean? I am excited about that as well, Abby. I'm yeah. <laughs> so, we have a, we have all of our regular role-playing game books in these shelves that were sort of modeled after the ikea box shell yeah and then we have our special like uh like fall of magic and dialect and all these games that are very especially beautiful but also a strange form factor in this little like nook Mm -hmm. and so i'm looking forward to see if wolf spell will fit in that nook i don't don't know yeah it's gonna (laughs) it's definitely special Mm -hmm. um karen mentioned agon so thank you uh for that i'm i'm excited about that coming out you can find it in lots of uh on the evil hot site on john's itch page if you want to just get the pdf mm-hmm. um and uh, i'll be playing some more games on actual play soon i think uh next sunday we'll be back with scum and villainy and then we have some more project perseus so lots of fun stuff going on here so uh, but this was so much fun yeah. uh i love love this game and uh epi thanks for wrapping it up right in time you, you you're very good at a lighting time to be like yeah. cool here's the critical moment yeah critical <laughs> just so, go thank you for that. So, yeah it was a lot of fun for me too thank you folks yeah all right much appreciated. Take care, chat. thanks for hanging out with us bye